Hey, and welcome to this Friday's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So every Friday I answer your questions. So everything that you write me on my channel, I will answer in the Q&A Friday videos. So this is video number seven. Today we have six questions. So let's jump into the question. Hey, Daniel, I'm wondering if you think it's necessary to have a magic keyboard to edit on the iPad, or is it possible to have a feature complete experience without one? I would love to buy an iPad and edit on the subway when commuting, but don't want to if there is a missing feature without a keyboard. Okay, so that's a loaded question. First part is easy second part is a little bit complicated so let's talk about that so I have the 11 inch iPad Pro I edit now since six months every video on it and I have a magic keyboard the way I use it is really with the pencil and the keyboard if you are looking for a complete experience so that everything you don't need a keyboard at all then actually it's Final Cut Pro I know Final Cut Pro doesn't has all the features than DaVinci Resolve and this is the second part of this answer of the question but the thing is Da Vinci has so many features. It's not even possible. Like the question that you have is, can I do it without losing any features? It's not possible. Like maybe it is possible, but not the way it is right now. And I don't think that a complete software like Da Vinci Resolve or Premiere Pro if, and even Final Cut Pro, if it would come with all of the features, you would have it completely smoothless just with the eye. If you're looking for just an editing software that you can use on the go to be fast, then I actually recommend Final Cut Pro because they've put a lot of thoughts into just using the screen and the pencil and the jog wheel, right? When it comes to DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, it's actually that you, you, you are way faster if you have a keyboard because you can have shortcuts, like even just the menu, go to the fusion page or the edit page, you can't even do if you only have the iPad like this, right? So, but I'm not saying that it's not possible to edit on the go. So for example, with my 11 inch, which is so much smaller and it's still possible to edit, I can sit in places where normally with a laptop, I would never edit. So even on the train, I have this with me with the keyboard. I can put it here onto my lap and edit because I'm now closer to the screen. I have the pencil here and I can do, right? I can do stuff this. So I'm way more comfortable. I get your question. You want just the screen. I get it. And for that, I really think then maybe DaVinci Resolve is not the best editing software. But if you look for all the features that you have, I would actually suggest getting a keyboard. It doesn't have to be the Magic Keyboard, but Magic Keyboard is very nice because you can detach it very fast, right? That's the reason why I got it. This is also kind of like what I'm trying to say because in the second part of your question, you're thinking about, I'm thinking about buying an iPad, but if it's not capable of all the features, like even with my keyboard, I'm not having all the features. You have to sometimes go into a menu or something like, okay, Second one, this is great, but it looks like I can't find the matrix effect under effects templates in DaVinci for the iPad. I made a video this week where I explained you how you can do the matrix effect in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, because there's even a feature inside of DaVinci Resolve that you can use on the fusion page. If you look here on the cut page and you type in matrix, you don't really find the inbuilt matrix effect. Matrix. So what I have here is actually from Motion VFX. They have a free plugin where you can have matrix effects as well, but we are not talking about that one, if you want to use the one that Da Vinci has, you have to come to the Fusion page. But I even explained that in my video. And then here under Effects, Templates, when you now search for Matrix, you will find this one here. That top one is built in into DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I have the studio version. Let me know if you can find it now because it could be that's the studio feature, but I don't think so. I think this should be a feature that's free and you can use it straight away. This question, I just have to share that with you because it kind of like relates to the first question with having a keyboard. How do you cut a video on the edit page? I can't find the blade tools. Yeah, that's right. I have never thought about this because I always use S on my keyboard for cut and editing stuff. So if I'm in the edit page, you're right. There is no cut because officially the edit page never launched. So the edit page is kind of like the same like it is on the desktop. But if you are on the cut page, of course, you have the different buttons like the cut and everything. And you can't do this on the edit page. That's true. And so if you are only working with a tablet mode, you're kind of screwed. You have to go to the cut page. You don't do it on the edit page. I mean, but like magic, even that's one of the reasons why they didn't launch the edit page, because you are supposed to cut on the cut page on the iPad for now. So what's my answer here? For me with a keyboard, and I know you maybe don't have a keyboard and now I'm saying you should get a keyboard but the thing is if you're just playing around and you're looking for an editing software where you can do fast edits just with a screen then I don't think DaVinci is the best option if you think about DaVinci because you want to be fast but having an environment that can do all of the things that a desktop app can do then you're in the right spot so for example I don't even go to my desktop anymore because I have my keyboard and the pen I get it we have a touch screen we want to work more with the touch but it's not that I'm not using a touch, right? I'm 
I'm fast because my right hand, instead of a mouse, I'm having my pencil all the time. Like all the things where you drag and drop something and resize, it's so much faster because I can use the pencil than instead of my mouse. And then for all the other stuff to make the cuts, this is where shortcuts come handy because you are so much faster with the shortcuts editing stuff. And I do this now every day since last six months just on the iPad. If you're going into this route and you want to be fast, then I would recommend you get a keyboard. And I think if you're working as a freelancer or somehow your editing is related to earning money, like either your own business or you work for someone else, then over time, the speed that you get will pay for itself. How do you speed keyframes up? Very interesting question because this was part of the video with keyframes. So if you want to speed up something, like keyframes and stuff. I would go to the edit page and here on the edit page, if you longer press on a clip, you have read time speed or read time controls. So for example, if I have a keyframe here, so I can say, for example, here add speed point and I'll make another speed point here at speed point. So I guess what you're talking about is that I can now grab this one and speed up the middle part. Do you see now the different percentage? Like this is still 100%, this is now 217% and this is 100%. If you're talking about this, this is the way you can do it. Beep! It's not every day one comes across a video tutorial that is stri this straight to the point. Sweet, thank you so much. Yeah, I just brought this in because yeah, this is my approach. Thank you for acknowledging this. Next question. I have a Bluetooth keyboard, but I'm not getting any of those keyboard shortcuts. Definitely not applicationable options. All I get is some general shortcut keys. What am I doing wrong? In my video about the shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, I made this is my very first video about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I talked about that I made this mistake the very first time when I opened DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I changed the keyboard shortcuts to Premiere Pro. And because of that, Premiere Pro doesn't have a keyboard shortcut to open the shortcuts menu again. And because there is no visual control on the app right now to open the shortcuts, you can't open them anymore. So if you do this the very first time, I'm not sure what your problem is in this particular um, case, but I had a couple of people asking the same question and some changed it to Premiere Pro. The only way you can change this now and to go back to default is to deinstall DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, delete it and then reinstall. And the very first time when you go to the shortcuts menu, because it works, option command K works, you have to make sure the guy is now asking the question, make sure your keyboard is working properly. If it's working properly and it's option command and K, that's how it's supposed to be. Or something like I just explained that somehow the settings got mixed up. So maybe deinstall DaVinci Resolve and then bring it back. You can also get a, a keyboard from a Mac and just plug it in via USB and then use that keyboard as well just to open the shortcut so that you see it's actually working. So that's it from all the questions from this week's episode for Q&A in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you have any specific questions about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, just let me know here in the comments. And next week's Friday is the next Q&A video where I answer your questions. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-